Thank you. Not me, but especially in some people who are also upset by the interest in both as parents or others. But how important it is for every ordinary people to be invited into discussions like this about uh, life on different planets, about other civilizations, about civilization. How, are, how should we be welcome to this kind of talks? Uh, imagination is what makes life interesting. You know, you don't just want the daily repetition of the same things over and over and over again. Life becomes boring. People become boring. When you suddenly have new ideas, things that push your understanding, things that challenge your understanding, uh, an opportunity to try and see things in a whole new light, that's where discovery happens. That's where growth happens. And uh, so to be in front of so many experts, Nobel Prize winners, some of the great musicians of the world, it's just such a mentally stimulating thing that you can't help but grow and learn and, and maybe become a more p capable human being. What do you think of great space mission that we might have like no witness in this century? What is the greatest space mission for you that you'd like to witness? Space travel is just an extension of human exploration. You know, we all started in Africa 70,000 years ago, and then we got to Australia 50,000 years ago, we got to Americas 18,000 years ago, we got to New Zealand 800 years ago, got to Antarctica 100 years ago, we got to space 60 years ago, we got to the moon 50 years ago, and now, with our robots and soon with people, we can go even further than that. So I look at it as one long, continuous string of technology enabling people to discover all new things and live in new places. So for me, this upcoming century is when we stop just living on Earth. We already live on a space station. We have for 20 years. I've lived there and commanded a space station. But the next step will be people not just exploring the moon, but actually living on the moon, just like we live in Antarctica. And that's happening soon. And then eventually we'll figure out good enough ships that we can not just explore Mars, but have people living on Mars. But it's still really hard to do. But that's what's happening in history right now. And I think you need to look back and look around and then look forwards. Okay, I have the last question. Um, do you have a question? Do you have a question? Do you have a question? Should we be a little bit cautious about this or should we be excited about possibility of the existence of other civilizations out there uh, and how to explain this human desire of, uh, this desire to know that there are other lives out there is this the basic need to know that we are not alone here or is it just a scientific curiosity we should be extremely excited and cautious when we explore both and we we are normally we try and take good care and that's why we're sending robots first because it's sad when a robot dies, but it's not tragedy. But when people die, you know, that's, that's tragic, and we try and avoid that. So first send our robots, like the Hubble telescope, or the James Webb telescope, or the robots like Perseverance and Ingenuity that are exploring Mars right now. And then eventually, we can learn enough that it can get safe enough that we can send people. Because we are, by our very nature, we are, driven to explore and try and understand. I mean, as an adult, you don't still live at home with your mom and your dad for the rest of your life. You want to go have a life of your own. You want to try something new. You don't always eat the same flavor of the same food every single day. You want to learn, experiment, try things. And, and then as you get older, you want to try and understand how does all this work and how do I fit in? And are there other things possible out there? But our, our explorations are so good now that we may be able to find out very soon whether we're alone in the universe or not. That's a huge question. Are we alone in the universe or not? Because why if... You to know that are why did you leave home? Why, why, do you, why do you do everything out of a desire to understand life better? A desire to have a fulfilled personal life to understand the meaning of everything, to see how we fit in. When I was on the space station, I sent a note out on Twitter and said, what do you want me to take a picture of? And people from all around the world said, I want to see a picture of my hometown, which I thought was cute, but it's because people are proud of where they're from 
but they want to see how they fit into everything else. They want to understand the rest of everything else and how they're part of that. And so sending out our telescopes to try and find life somewhere else, if, if there is life somewhere else, we stand to learn a huge amount. But what if we can't find life anywhere else? Think just how important that is for how we take care of life on Earth. It's a really important thing to know. Uh, and, and we're just sort of at a moment in history where we've been able to address it like never before. So to me, it's, it's one of the big questions of our age that maybe we can answer that no previous generation could ever answer. And then what we choose to do with that information, it's, that's up to us. But it, it's, it's a huge, interesting question. And we're right on the cusp of answering it. So I've never been to Armenia before this trip. Uh, obviously, I've seen Yerevan, but today I went to Lake Savan and I went to Dilijan as well. It's so beautiful, and to drive up through the countryside. Obviously, I've been around the world 2,600 times, so I've seen Armenia in a glance uh, thousands of times. I've, you know, I, I know it from above, but to be here on the ground, to smell it and to walk it and feel the rain and feel the heat and to get to know the people a little bit, that's really important to understand a place. And I, I'm very much enjoying myself. It's such an incredibly historic part of humanity. Um, and it's a difficult part of the world, like, like a lot of places, you know, people are difficult. But you never really understand a place until you have had a chance to be there, and that applies to Armenia, and it applies to the moon, and to Mars, and the rest of the universe.